All right, it is time to finish building the short block on my 3,000 horsepower turbo 400 cubic inch LS. So, recap. Crankshaft is final installed in this deal. The belt drive is currently mocked up. I'm still waiting on a little spacer to come in so I can install the balancer and finalize where I'm gonna put my oil drains. Hopefully I can put them in that timing cover. Rod bearings, I ended up switching to a King Trimetal XP series rod bearing. Uh, the V series Clevite bearing, I just can't find it anywhere. Um, and it's not worth waiting on. People run these bearings all the time and big power stuff. I ended up running a standard and a one under bearing, which gave me 2.6 thou of clearance. So without further ado, it is time to install the piston rings on these pistons, put these massive quarter inch thick tool steel DLC coated pins into the pistons and rod assembly, put the buttons in, lubricate everything, and we can stuff it all into this block. CP Carrillo laser etches the rod numbers into their connecting rods. So if y'all see me kind of jumping around, I'm just getting them all in order. So that it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've already wiped this block totally clean. Uh, just break clean in a rag, wipe it until the rag comes out clean, no marks on it. And now we're just gonna come back with some high quality break-in oil and coat the cylinders. Again, we are using the Clevite Bearing Guard Assembly Lube. So let's start with number one. Let's get our buttons lined up. And again, to retain the wrist pin, we just have a little 2618 button, same alloy as the piston. Nothing crazy. These connecting rods have a three-stage torque process. We do 10 pounds first, followed by 18 pounds, and then followed by 66 degrees. So while I'm just putting rods and pistons in the motor, I'm just gonna do the 10 and the 18 pounds, and then when we're done, I'll come back and do the full 66 degree torque.
The short block is now assembled. All of the guts are in the motor. Everything spins over nice and free and smooth. All we have left to do now is do a final torque pass on the connecting rods. So these bolts are going to 66 degrees, which equates, according to the wrench, about 110 foot-pounds. And when I was checking my rod bearing clearance, I went ahead and did the rod bolt stretch. And all of these were coming in exactly where CP Gorilla wanted them to, with their out-of-the-box instructions, of course. And now since these are final install and torqued, I'm gonna give them just a little blue pin dot right on the tip of the rod bolt. So there it is. The guts of the short block are all assembled. And look how nice our piston walls look. Not a single scratch on them. That plateau finish does such a nice job smoothing everything out. So next step for this engine, I'm gonna install the billet dry sump oil pan. I'm gonna install my harmonic balancer. I'm gonna put the dry sump pump on with the belt. I'm gonna put the water pump, the alternator kit, basically finish dressing out the engine. And then I'm gonna get my friend who's a fabricator to come over We'll take a look at it and see if we can squeeze in some oil drain, some dash 10 bungs into the timing cover down here, if possible. So we will see y'all then. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.